I got a big bank account. What do I care? What do I care what I do? I'm not hurting anybody. You're not. I'll import everything from Japan and everybody in Canada will be without a job. But I'm not hurting anybody. My bank account is okay. Me, I'm okay. That's what counts. But wait a second. I can't sell anything anymore because nobody has any more jobs. Hey, may as well whoosh, get out of Canada, move to the United States, and I'll buy everything from China. And I, I'm just using, I can say Bangladesh, I can say Israel, I can say Iraq, Iran, and Africa, and South Africa, and I can say all over the world, because that's what's actually happening right now. Not by me, but by others. We'll move it here, we'll move it here, we'll move it here, we'll make it strong, we'll make it weak, we'll make it stronger. We'll make it weaker. We'll make it stronger. We'll make it weaker. Until you have all squares. No more rounds. All squares. All squares. Oh, the rounds will be all those inside this area, and all those inside this area, and all those inside this area. Now that's an equation, and that equation is the eye of the storm that is coming. Right over here. The eye gets broken down into one, two, three areas. We have the eyeball, the white, we have the color which is the blue or the brown, and then we have, well, the blue and the brown, the earth and the, the ocean, right? And then we have the black, the black hole, the hole that intakes, that swallows in, that brings in, that sees out. You look out and you bring in the information you see. In a dartboard, you have the center area red, which is 25. You have red eye, that's the black dot. How can you get a red eye and a black dot? Try and figure that out. So if you're a red eye and a black dot, you have uh, 27, and, uh, 27 and 29 in colors. You have uh, 9-11. You have negative and positive AC and DC power, or you have AC and DC and then the negative power. How does that work? 25 stands for Earth. 50 stands for pink, as well as it becomes a different number. This will become 56 because all zeros equal six. And this is 120. You add up one through 20 on the darts, you get 120. If you get the doubles of that, you got 240. And you get the doubles of that, you got 360. So you have 600 plus the regular 120 on the dice is 720. And then you have 75 for the center. So you have 720 and then 75 for the center. So you have half the day in minutes, and then you got the numeric value for the moon which divided by three, because I like to divide things by three, or seven, no, I like to multiply by three, and then maybe divide by seven, multiply by three, and multiply by seven. Three and seven is the lowest and the highest actual dice you can actually have in Revelation, because the opposite of a dice cube is all sevens, but the lowest of a dice cube is gonna be one and two. That one, two will be opposite of your six and five, 11. 6 and 5, 11, 1 and 1 is 2, 2 and 1 is 3. So you have 2 and 3, beta creation. Where did this all begin for me? Um, my mind started to open up. I started asking a lot of questions and I wasn't satisfied. I wasn't satisfied for many years of, of things that I heard and things. Uh, and I wanted to learn more and I wanted to learn more. And all of a sudden, my mind started to expand. And then one night... I was looking up into the sky and I felt really out of my body like I was gone in another world and boom, this image appears and it says nothing to me. I close my eyes and all of a sudden it would look like um, the, the um, Columbia Pictures and the, uh, and the Pegasus horse, the white horse and 7286 took me to Pegasus because the Columbia Picture was right there, uh, the white horse is there. Uh, 7286 is there, bringing me to the constellation of Pegasus. Boom. Raphael, 70, Raphael is my, is my Hebrew name. And uh, Raph, or Ralph, like they call me. Clumsy, oh, hey, what you doing here? My name is Ralph. <laughs> I'm going to cut this in half and flip it over, or I'm going to attach, take off his arm. All right, no arm, and I'm going to put two bodies together. When you put two bodies together and you make the body, look at that. I got number eight, right? If I put it, turn it this way, I got zero, zero. But this way, I got number eight. How things mean something. 
There's the Star of David. You don't see it, but I know. This is six angles. And where do I see this again? Boom, working last night on the magic wheel. I found value town in these. And I'm not finished. I need more of these cards. I think I'm going to start printing them up. I come up with the automatic card here. This is automatic. This is not what I wanted to do. I made a rule, and the rule was encompass everything in zero. Now, I'm saying to myself, if zero is the starting point before the game begins, will we bring zero back into having a value as the 37th number? We go 36, 37. You know, in Monopoly, when you start on go, you don't count it as one, but you come back there, and because the corners are bigger, you don't count them for any more. Have you ever thought that the corners are, one half is outside the game, and the other half is inside the game? Have you ever thought that you're not really on Earth all the way? You want to be all the way happy. You want to be completely satisfied, but you're not completely here. You're one plus more than who you are. The information center from the mother. Oh my God, I got a computer in front of me. This is so great. I got my computer. I got software. Helps my brain work. But I don't know where to go get the information. Oh, I uploaded a lot of information into my personal computer. But I haven't outsourced. I haven't gone out. Oh my God, the internet. The entity, the internet. NTT Internet Art and Designs. Oh my God. Look at the letter H. No, no, no. It's the letter I. Wait, wait. Oh my God. Look. Is it U? Is it U or is it V? U or V? Um, sorry, sorry. Oh, it's a small H or it's a chair. See the double crack opening? The double crack opening equaling to the you but if i have two of these maybe i'm going to start getting to the letter m maybe i'll get the stitching on my jeans or the mayan calendar but well, wait a second take a look there's something different here this is offset i have two on this side and one on this side but oh oh this is okay i'm going directly to the other world and, and this is okay i'm going directly to the other world but i'm being offset but it's okay it's next door if i went one two three, four, five, this would be six. But if I went one, two, three, four, five, six, in the alphabet, when you want to write a sentence, okay, you go, hello, everybody, my name is John. You don't go, John, I am, hello, everybody, this way. You keep going this way and start over this way and start over this way and start over this way. And then you put a period, you make an indentation, you start another phrase. But everybody knows what phrase is, Berry season is coming, and we're going to pick some phrase. How is that phrase made? How do you pick the phrases? What's the best way to pick the phrases? I like to do things hand-picked. H-P. Household properties. You're private. Nothing's private. Everything's general. General's in control, and that's it. It's a corporal thing and a corporate thing, and that's what it is. Corp 8. Seems like number 8, uh, Andreas there. A fractal. You're right. Somehow that eight is terrible. I don't know why. But in order for the spirit to get into this world, right? That one spirit to get into the six to create of the seventh gate or the one and the eight to create of the nine birth. What is it about the eight that, that is so devilish? Why can't it just be four and one and give me the energy? Or is what is the mass? What numeric value is the mass? I'm not really sure what we should do. And I'm not really sure if we should go square on this. We can go... These two rows, or these two rows, or these two rows, or these two rows. But what if I split nine? And what if I split five? And what if I split one? What if it's half in and half out? What if it's 2.5 in and 2.5 out? What if it's 4.5 in and 4.5 out? 4.5 in, 4.5 out gives me the sun, gives me the passage, gives me the foxhole. When you're going on an angle, you're breaking the corners. And when you bring four pieces together, when you bring four pieces together or three pieces together, right, all the points right at the top, the, the, either you have the center open or these have to be welded together. All these are open. Do you follow what I'm saying? Putting these together, they're still separate, right? Three corners, three separate pages, front and the back. So now you have the sun split, you have the earth split, and you have the energy. 
Up into the energy, you have the delta angle of the gateway to the house of creation. So now let's split it again. We split the five into three creation, the five into the seventh gate. We split the gateway between six and eight equals to the seventh gate split. Between five and nine is seven. Five to nine, middle one is seven. Six to eight, the middle one is seven. The odds on six and eight are seven and six. The only way to create a seven and six in mathematics is one times six, one plus seven. Where did this all begin? With the lady in the sky telling me 7286. Started dreaming every single night. Saw letters and, and numbers and letters and numbers. And all of a sudden, I draw a letter and it starts telling me, why don't you bubble it? Then I'm going, what the hell's a bubble it? So I bubbled my letter. So I bubbled the I and I bubbled and I never, I never really did anything. Let's see if I can... Um, show you one of my first designs. One of my first designs is is actually one of my first designs before anything. No, no, that was after. So I, I took the letter I and, and then I went like that and I bubbled it and I, you know, and I bubbled it. I put two I's on it and there you go. I can bubble it on this side too. I don't even know how to make arms, you know. I, I, I need to learn a little bit more because if I can learn more how to do things. And then I, I, I saw this. And I says, oh, my God. And then I saw this. And I took out square paper and I looked to see what I can do on squares. Because I couldn't do it anywhere else. I couldn't draw the lines properly. So I started working with squares to help me out to draw the lines. So I look at this and I go, oh, my God, I've got a point. And on a heart, i got a point. So what do I do with my heart? Can I do this to my heart? I'm, I'm just doing this real quick. So I make... Four hearts on here. They're all kissing over here. So when we kiss the corners, and um, and I kiss the corners of the heart, I end up with, there, I end up with the, actually, if you want to put it straight, I end up with the Star of David, right? And I got all these, is all these parts right there's no corners here it's just part of this right and we're not looking at the area space empty here the area space empty here the area space where these two join because where these two join i now have my x coming up and it's a little bit different here this one is a diamond okay if, if i do it here it becomes the diamond the other one becomes the square the square is smaller than the larger diamond telling me a different story don't know what story it is yet so when you put this together um, i forget what the design is what did i do yesterday in one of my designs but i'm not going to get into that right now so this is the way basic things started this is telling me one story now the next story i'm going to bring out here and i really love what this this did last night to me and this is just amazing because there's <clears throat> i can't work i don't want to work alone i want to work with others and I know some of my ideas are going to be stolen, but you know what? <clears throat> if if my if what I'm thinking is true, and there is an outside world, then whatever everybody speaks on this planet, seven billion people, they're all in another computer system off the planet, somewhere else. Someone's going to say, "How does that work? What do you mean? How does it work? Do you see how many computer systems are on this planet? We're doing it ourselves. How can somebody not follow us in a distant planet?" The ones who created this planet, who created the internet, who know everything we know and more. Because every time we learn something that they don't know, we've taught them. And everybody shares over there. That's right. Main internet source, they all share the information. It's a secret. It's private. And it's shared. And then there's something that happened last night that I never noticed before. This. Does anybody see anything in these? I'm going to drop this one here and just keep this. 30 and 11. 30 and 11. 13 and 36. 13 and 36. 24 is outside. Um, hold on a second. 24 to 24. 16. What, hold on a second. Just give me a second. I'm lost here for a second. Okay, I just found myself 36 and 13, boom, bang, 24 and 1, encompass 36 and 13, in which 16 and 33, 16 and 33, now look at the angles of this. 
The uh, Star of David has this same design, but you don't see it. Imagine if this was stretched out larger, what it would look like, I don't know. These are squares. The roulette table tells me I need to spread them out wider, taking up more area space, more rectangular. So this is really amazing when I found this. And when I total this out, 33 and 16, it equals to 49. When I total this out, 36 and 13, that equals to 49. So I started to thinking. Plus and minus, 49. 23, 49. Three times, I, I'm not going to do the rest of that. Four and nine. Four and five. Two and three, five. Four and nine, four. So through the sun, 49. Where is 65? I'm trying to think myself. All right, 49. And why 65? Hold on, I think I have a mistake here. There was no mistake. 4 times 9, 36. 4 plus 9, 13. 36, 13. Repeat the same numbers. 49. 2 times 3, 2 plus 3. 3 times 3, 9. 3 plus 3 is 6. But that's not what I did. Where did I get the 49? Oh, yes, the total is over here. Um, where did I get the 94 from? Um, where did, 1 times 7, 1 plus 7, 7 and 8. 4 times 9, plus, 4 plus 9, will repeat the same numbers and give me 94. So this will give me 4, and this will give me 6, this will give me 4, this will give me 2. This one over here, 1 times 9, 1 plus 9, will remain the same. 4 times 1, 4 plus 1, will remain this. The spirit in the sun, creation of day, rotation inside of Pluto. The GH, the gateway to the heavens through Uranus, command and creation of the half-life of the Christ. AC comes in, AC our God I am, in creation of the God. Six, God the man with the half-life spirit. 49, 23, beta creation through Mars. Because one times five, one plus five is the same. Six and five is two times three. Everything has been mirrored, added on, something is happening, but it gets thicker and fatter as you go. So this is, so when you come down here, it's very special that you have uh, surrounded it by 24 and by 1. And when you're adding squares, I'm not sure wh which square will do this, but there's a square of 25 here in which it'll be, I'm not sure where it is, the 25, I think it's down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 1, 23. There's another one of these equation, and 1, 24, and 1. 1 spreads out the 2. 2 spreads out the 3. When this 2, do you follow what I'm saying? When this spreads out, when this one spreads out to here and here, they carry the 1 in the center. They carry the center all the way down through it. And then it switches centers. It's hard to explain what it is. And uh, all these are offsetting. This is the roulette wheel. More people break this thing down and try to build a little bit more. Uh, the other thing I'm working on right now is pi. Uh, three, three, three. First, I want to see the combinations. Three, 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 six, three, three, nine. Three, six, three, three, six, six, three, six, nine. Three, nine, three. 396, 399, and so on. So we get um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, not sure if I got this right, but out of all these combinations here, 1, 2, 3, there's 27. There's actually only 14. So there's a difference between 13 and 14, and in Gematria, 13 and 14 are the same number one, which is the M and the N, Gematria M and N. It's also the um, Gematria uh, irregular alphabet, the M and the uh, M and the N uh, is the foxhole passage in the sun. What I'm saying is, once you do these combinations of 369 together, all you're left with after is 666. I can use all these and remove the nines, but I decided to use the nines. There's three in every category. Three, 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 there's only one. Six, 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 there's only one. Nine, 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 there's only one. But in three, three, six, we have three, three, six, we have three, three, six again. We have it twice. 
we have 339. We have um, 339, which it would be 933. I didn't put it over here. Hold on. Yeah, I did put it. 933 was over here. So, um, and all these numbers, so how many of 996 will I have? Well, I'm probably going to have 996. I'll have it here. I won't have it over here. So it seems like I have two of everything except for 333-666-999. So I either have two or one. So I will have three of them at one and 11 of them. Three, three. 333-666-999, three, 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 six, 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 nine, nine, nine. and then we have um, one time, and then we have two times. 11 times, two times. 11 times, two times is 22. 22 and 3. Almost sounds like the division of pi. You follow what I'm saying? The division of pi, how it works? Um, how do I get this? In fact, this is pi. I made pi perfect.